Alrighty then, successful indie author five minute focus episode 651. Newsletter power, part two of five, growing your newsletter. There's Stanley, he's just hanging out. Oops, there's my uh, lava lamp too. All right. Newsletter, growing your newsletter. Now that you have your foundation, the links in which people can click and join your newsletter, you build on that. So what do you build? There's three different ways to build. There's organic, and this is absolutely the best. This is in your front matter and back matter. Have a link to your website. And on your website, when they go there, the very first thing they should always see, or even a pop-up, is the opportunity to join your newsletter. If you send them straight to a newsletter sign-up form, Amazon takes exception to that, and they have a tendency to cancel accounts that do that. So don't do that. Just send them to your website, and at the very top is your first thing is, hey, please join my newsletter because you're here because you like my stuff. There you go. That's organic, organic internal. Organic external is running giveaways and doing things where you give them a short story, a reader magnet kind of thing. Uh Give them merchandise that you have related to your books. Do those things to then bring them on board. Those are still organic because it's you and they're interested in you and they want your uh, the stuff that is associated with your books or even a book. <clears throat> and then there's broad-based, which is all external <clears throat> that uh, may or may not be interested in your books. The better you target those, the higher quality they'll be. If you just offer a $500 Amazon gift card, and oh, by the way, join my newsletter, you're going to get extremely low quality, uh, like one out of a hundred will be worth having, and they'll all unsubscribe, and then you'll get in trouble with your newsletter provider. So be very, very careful about offering uh, things like Amazon gift cards. Okay, highly targeted giveaways. These are the, uh, uh, the organic external I use. Uh, merchandise for my books, like a, a wombat. I actually have one here. A wombat. Look at that. That I bought in Australia and hand carried all the way back here to give away for one of my series where I have a wombat. So those those do pretty well, but those are more likely a reward. Most uh, those are are are. Uh, I don't gain a lot of new subscribers from those, but I do reward the old subscribers. You want to keep them on board, and that's tomorrow's subject is how to be engaging, how to keep people on board. once Because you're going through all this effort, don't lose your subscribers once they come on board. So highly targeted giveaways. The Wombat, there's nobody outside of my readership who gets those. And even if people read and they aren't subscribed, those are the ones I want to clean up and vacuum and make sure that I get them, get them close and hopefully into my backlist because I have a lot of other series. <clears throat> I use King Sumo, which you can buy through App Sumo, uh, and it's one-time purchase. Wait for it to go on sale, and it, it runs it great. It does all this stuff, makes a uh, a sliding, a, a rotating carousel of images that you can put in there. Uh, it uh, has the countdown clock on it, and then it gives you all of the email addresses from people who sign up. Well worth the money. Um, I advertise on social media. Sometimes I'll simply boost a Facebook post on my author page, and other times I'll run a real ad to, hey, join my newsletter. And here's a book, a free book, uh, that is a standalone, that is representative of my style and my type of uh, 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 plots that I do. So it is a great way to bring people into my newsletter. So that's organic external. I give them a book, <clears throat> but sometimes people are just uh, looking for the book for free. It's not like they read the book and then signed up. They're getting the book because they signed up. So organic, external. <clears throat> uh, and keep writing. As part of part of uh, uh, growing your list is showing that you're here to stay. You're an author, and you're going to keep writing, and you're going to be keep telling great stories, and that's what people come back for. They're not going to join a newsletter like I was offered to join the Heinlein newsletter. Heinlein's not writing any new books, so no, I, I, I declined that. I'm not going to join the uh, uh, the Dead Guy newsletter list because that's somebody else marketing. They're going to sell other stuff. I've read his books. I have almost all of his books, so I, I'm good. <clears throat> as long as you're still writing, 
and still providing new material. Share those snippets, share insight, share a little bit about you as an author, uh, make your NL in, make your newsletter interesting. We're signing up for. This is another thing to bring people on board as part of growing your newsletter is show them that it's worth signing up for. I'm going to send you a newsletter once a month. I send one once a week, but I tell them that I'm sending a newsletter every Monday. <clears throat> there you go. Send the newsletter. Don't uh, <clears throat> I, I don't oversell it. Like send a newsletter every day just because you think there's something interesting in uh, going on. <clears throat> avoid politics. Avoid all that stuff that could alienate half of your readership. So to grow, be interesting, interesting in the realm of being an author. Uh, what's in your books that's interesting? <clears throat> you can you can work it from your character's perspective. Hey, get the newsletter because you'll hear from Snoopy the dog. And Snoopy then narrates the newsletter. <clears throat> People come for that kind of stuff. You get a picture of my dog every week, every month, however often you send it. Just let them know. Be interesting. Share pictures of your pets. That always works well. <clears throat> and then the final way is if you're wide, the uh, uh, broad-based, look for <clears throat> uh, newsletter builders like Book Sweeps. They're not going to be as high quality. However, if you're in a highly targeted newsletter builder, one that says we're only going to advertise to urban fantasy and you're an urban fantasy author, that's what you want because they're going to be higher quality subscribers than just <clears throat> throwing it out there and saying, hey, here's a $100 gift card to Amazon. You'll get subscribers, but they won't be necessarily good ones. So take that with a grain of salt. But still, if you, the better the builder, the more highly targeted it is, the better off your newsletter will be, and you'll grow commensurately. I have about 20000 on my list right now. I'd love to grow it to 30000 and I'll keep pushing to get there. However, uh, I have invested what I need to invest, and now I'm just uh, like at a maintenance level of cost. Uh, and growing, I pay roughly about 50 cents for each new newsletter uh, email uh, email address that I add to my newsletter. So uh, there's a cost to growing it. Newsletter builders and stuff like that, especially if you do a group, they may, their name may not be a cost, but to get the highly targeted, the organic, external, uh, those have a tendency to cost you some money. Shoot for about 50 cents, no more. Keep it to that, and you'll be good. Peace, fellow humans.